This is uh, Math 142. This is a homework problem on page 591 out of the uh, Free Calculus with Limits Unit Circle Approach. And this is problem uh, number one. And the question uh, tells you that you, you have an angle. You know, we'll call it theta in standard position. And um, this point 5, negative 12, this is uh, a point on the terminating Oh, sorry about that. This is a point on the terminating um, side of it. So it's going to start here. And let's think about that. 5, negative 12. This is x. This is y. So this means it goes over 5, down 12. So I know that this is the point 5, negative 12. And my theta would be this angle here. And now if I think about um, kind of a right triangle that could be formed by this. X is 5, so it goes over 5. Y is negative 12, so it went down 12. And then what I could need to do is figure out how long this radius is. And I can use Pythagorean theorem for that, since this is a right triangle. So I can go 5 squared plus negative 12 squared. And I'll end up square rooting it. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, 5 squared is 25. Negative 12 squared is 144. That's uh, 169. Square root that, I get 13. So this radius is 13 long. Good, so now I'm supposed to find all the trig functions of theta. So I'm going to find uh, sine theta, cosine theta, tangent theta, and so on. Cosecant. And cotangent. All right. So there's a couple ways to think about sine w um, and cosine, all of these. So if I have a right triangle, um, we, we've thought of sine in just a triangle as opposite, that's an O, over hypotenuse. Um, notice that it's also the same as in any triangle, if this is our, our angles here, opposite would be over here. So it's basically the same as the Y value over the radius. The radius is the hypotenuse. So um, you, you should be able to translate opposite over hypotenuse to y over r and, and back and forth. Same thing with cosine, except it'll be x. So sine is um, opposite or y over r. So sine will be negative 12 thirteenths. Cosine is adjacent or um, x over r. So it's 5 thirteenths. Tangent is uh, opposite over adjacent or uh, y over x, so it will be negative 12 fifths. And then once you know these, cosecant, secant, and cotangent are pretty straightforward. Uh, cosec cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so flip it over. Negative 13 twelfths. Secant, flip over cosine, 13 fifths. And cotangent is reciprocal tangent, negative 5 twelfths. All right, I hope that helps.